You know Vandy Vape? I've been there from the beginning. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I've been there from the beginning. The big breakup with Geek Vape. I know, I know. I was there the whole time, you know? Guys really came on the scene, making and killing. Did, did some pretty cool stuff. I collaborated with, hell, every reviewer collaborated with you. Um, you know, we, you built trust across the community, you know? So, so for you to turn around and do this, it's shocking and it hurts. Okay, it doesn't make sense. And today, you're gonna have to answer. You're gonna have to answer for me and for every other vape enthusiast out there, okay? I have one question, Bandy Vape. One question. How in the fuck do you name this little itty bitty shit the Berserker? It's fucking ridiculous. Like, if I name myself Thunderfuck 9000 and all I did was cuddle, that's like if I call myself Twisted the Planet Destroyer and all I did was cut lawns on the weekend sometimes. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense. And it's been bothering me, okay? It's been bothering me. When I first got it, I was looking on the panel, I was like, oh, Berserker, this is gonna be wild. I know it's his mouth lung, but maybe it could still be crazy. Open this fucking thing up, and it's got a little 18 millimeter diameter RDA. Oh, itty bitty titty committee looking ass RDA. Look at this old chihuahua nipple size drip tip. It's like the leftovers from a good dripper. They just took the, the rest of the metal shavings and just threw it at you. I, I don't know why, man. It just fuck. it bothers me. It bothers the shit out of me. And I, I know uh, Alex from Vapors MD and everything, it's Berserker, his name and stuff. But damn it, you should have changed the name for this, okay? You've, we've seen other little drippers, the Paquito, and all kinds of other uh, variations of the word small. I don't even like, I don't like, like, like when a huge dude is named Tiny. I don't like it. I don't like it. And this little fucker should not be named the Berserker. I know what everyone thought. They were all, oh, this is gonna be some, oh, some more Vupu, Vandy Vape drop. I don't give a shit about any of that, okay? What I do give a shit about is this little itty bitty fuck being named the Berserker. Now, I, I hope nobody thought that I, that I was mad about anything else. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why you would get that impression. I'm just really upset about the naming in this situation. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna chill. I guess we'll talk about it as long as we got it. Do a video or whatever. This is a fucking itty bitty little punk ass 18 millimeter diameter single coil mouth to lung RDA. And, and you can squonk it, okay? And they sell for about 20 bucks, 30 bucks on the internet, all right? Now, everyone knows at this point, not only do I dislike uh, poor naming decisions, but I also don't care for mouth to lung. I know there's a whole cult-like following for mouth to lung. I understand cigarettes, they didn't cigarettes wearing all crazy air from, I get it. I get it, you purist, but I don't care for it. But, but at the very least, maybe we'll talk about the berserker. Oh, please, sir, uh, can I have some more looking ass? All right, this little bitch comes with a lot of stuff in the package. Uh, you open it up and you got a couple of beauty rings, a 22 millimeter and a 24 millimeter because this little berserker needs help. He's like a, it's like a fucking booster seat for this little fuck. But beyond that, you got a correction tool coil thing so you can move your coil around. Underneath all that stuff, you're gonna have a baggie with a bunch of uh, tools and parts and squonk pin. And you also get a single coil, okay? A little bitty single coil came out to 0.48, I used it, and it's in here, okay, people? And then you get a bag of these little slots, these little bars, and these are airflow bars. You can stick them in there to change the airflow. Besides the air, you already got fucking airflow control around the side, why you gotta change the airflow underneath the coil? You know what I mean? I left all of those out when I did this build, so I'm rocking it wide open, as wide open as this fucker will allow anyway. The dripper itself is little, man. It's little. It's got like a heat sink up top, reminds me of the old Steam Boy from back in the day. A itty bitty little screw in fucking Ultim drip tip, for no, no 810? Huh? No 810? What's this? What is that, a fucking a, a 210 drip tip 
on this little fucker. Getting that little bitty punk ass coil in there wasn't a super big deal. It was pretty easy. You screw everything down. You can use that little correction, coil correction tool if you want. Mess with that and get your coil in there. It's really, really easy. Really easy. Wick game, everybody knows my fluff game's on point. Blah, blah, blah. You put cotton in it, you can squonk it, all that good stuff. The only neat thing is you got a little slot where, you, where your airflow control is where you can put those little bars. Slide them right in, bam. One side's blocked off, one side's open with a hole in the middle. And you got all kinds of different sizes. That's pretty innovative. It's kind of different. Yeah, that's something, I guess. Something to say about the berserker. But yeah, man, I've been vaping it. I got no bar in this bitch. Uh, I got the widest airflow open. I'm at 18 watts. And it's reading 0.55. Fuck me. Fuck you, Berserker. It, flavor's good. It's a really small. Bro, even back in the day when they were doing like little bitty fucking drippers, I think like 19 millimeter was like the smallest I saw. We went beyond that. 18 millimeter on this little fucker. It's got a deep juice well, though. It got that going for it and good squonking capabilities. All that's fine. But let me go for a lung inhale on this little fucking, uh. Flavor's pretty good, I can't knock it, I can't knock it. But the fucking name should not have been the Berserker. Oh, I promise this has never happened before. It's really cold in here, looking ass, okay? This should have been um, the, the Pixie Fairy. Th that's, a, that's a nice little, uh, the Munchkin. The Munchkin would have been, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know. There, there could have been several other fucking small things you could have said about it. But the Berserker, sir, you are not. You're not the Berserker. You can look up, you can wake up every morning, look yourself in the mirror and say you're a Berserker. But at the end of the day, you're not a Berserker. Fuck you. Fuck you. Don't talk shit to me. Fuck you. Uh, hopefully, Vandy Vape can get back on track. Uh, I don't know if this was Alex's doing. I don't know who cleared it. I don't know who green lighted this at the end of the day. But moving forward, we need a better naming system, people. This, this does not embody the berserk. Call it, what is it, the juggernaut? You call, just call it. You, it, it just doesn't work, okay? It doesn't work and I don't care for it. At the end of the day, if you're in all that pansy mouth lung stuff, this would be great for you. Links are in the description if you want to go pick up a berserker, okay? Uh, but, but yeah, that's what I got for you people. That's what I got. So really folks, with that being said, thank you for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Remember, doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on and what it's named. As long as you're not on those gosh darn stinkies, that's what counts. And last but not least, <laughs> you stay sexy, YouTube. Me and, I'm going to call them Little Tiffany. Me and little Tiffany, we're out. Vaping saves more lives than clickbait. Like me calling myself vaping with Twisted 420 and I don't even... Wait a minute, wait a minute.